हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज़ विकास राणा सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स फॉर एट मे अ टोटल ऑफ 16 करंट अफेयर्स विल बी डिस्कस्ड हियर एंड सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट अमंग देम इज नेपाल दे विल बी इंट्रोड्यूसिंग अ हंड्रेड रुपीज नोट दैट विल बी फीचरिंग द डिस्प्यूटेड करेंसीज देन एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक एंड सिटी दे हैव साइंड अ एम आर पी ए टू सपोर्ट द एम एस एम ई एंड बूस्ट ट्रेड थ्रू सप्लाई चेन फाइनेंसिंग वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस एम आर पी ए देन रिमेंबर मिराई ए एम एफ दे हैव लॉन्च अ निफ्टी मिड स्मॉल कैप फोर हंड्रेड मोमेंटम क्वालिटी हंड्रेड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ट्रेडिड फंड दैट इज योर ई टी एफ वॉट आर द ई टी एफ वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन दिन वीडियो एंड इंडिया रेटिंग्स दे हैव रेज इंडिया जी डी पी फॉरकास्ट फॉर फिजिकल ईयर ट्वेंटी फाइव टू सेवन पॉइंट वन परसेंट We are one-stop solution for current affairs. Buy our crack current affairs from our application and use Vikas 10 code to get additional 10% discount. We have started a new initiative in our homework section where we will be providing one year's full subscription free of cost to the student who comments and gives us the best and important current affairs that we are asking in our homework section. One winner will be selected on daily basis and the winner will be announced daily and he or she can collect the reward on daily basis. Now the winner for the 7th May current affairs. The winner here is lazy learner Z F 9 U L. This is the username you can see here. I suggest you to kindly contact us on this email or you can call us on this number and our team will make sure to provide you with your reward. Now let's start with the first question. Fourth session of India Ghana Joint Trade Committee held from 2nd to 3rd May in 2024 in Accra, Ghana. Question asked here is that Indian and Ghana agreed to operationalize what within 6 months. So India and Ghana these countries have agreed to operationalize the UPI of that is launched by NPCI National Payment Corporation of India and this UPI will be used on the Ghana Interbank Payment and Settlement System i repeat this UPI will be used on Ghana Interbank Payment and Settlement System and this will be incorporated within 6 months with this facility easy transfer will be there low cost of the transfer will be provided here and this was the fourth session of this committee that was held and the location where this was held was accra and similar kind of systems are available in countries such as france where we will be seeing olympic games recently uae sri lanka and mauritius so right option here becomes option 1 next thing remember india is the third largest investor in ghana then if we talk about free trade agreement that is fta india and european free trade association they have signed a trade and economic partnership agreement that was for 100 billion dollar and it will be for the next 15 years if we talk about digital transformation on 24th of january digital transformation that is meity of government of india they have recently signed an mou with the republic of communications of republic of cuba correct and this is basically for implementation of digital solutions so that with the help of these digital solutions the services that are provided by the government can be enhanced then migrant workers if we talk about on 20th of feb government of india and government of taiwan government of india and government of and they signed an mou and it was for the employment of indian workers in taiwan country and as india is the third largest inventor in ghana the bilateral trade between india and ghana stood at 2.87 billion in 2223 then if we talk about ghana what is the capital Accra, and what is the currency used here? Ghanian CD, right? That is GHS. Take a note of it. Who is the president here? Nana Akufo Addo. He is the current president. Next, 
नेक्स्ट इज यूनिसेफ इंडिया नेम्ड बॉलीवुड एक्ट्रेस करीना कपूर खान एज डैश एंड शी हैज बिन नेम्ड एज नेशनल सेलिब्रिटी अम्बेसडर ऑफ इंडिया करेक्ट टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस सो यूनिसेफ इंडिया नेम्ड करीना खान दैट इज करीना कपूर खान एज द नेशनल सेलिब्रिटी अम्बेसडर इन दिस रोल शी विल एडवोकेट फॉर द राइट्स ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन टॉक अबाउट देयर हेल्थ टॉक अबाउट देयर एजुकेशन एंड equality and rights of those children india also have recently appointed the first ever youth advocates and these are the individuals who will be working towards issues such as climate action mental health innovation and promoting girls in science technology engineering and mathematics a total of four youth advocates have been appointed here who all are they goranchi शर्मा नाहिद कार्तिक एंड विनीशा दीज आर द फोर यूथ एडवोकेट्स फॉर द राइट ऑफ चिल्ड्रन एंड ऑल दिस कम्स ड्यूरिंग द सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ द सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ रिलेशनशिप ऑफ यूनिसेफ विद इंडिया देन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट सेलिब्रिटी एडवोकेट Karina Kapoor Khan has been appointed as a celebrity advocate since 2014. If we talk about goodwill ambassador, UNESCO appointed Brazilian footballer Vinícius Jose as the goodwill ambassador to promote education for all. Right? Here you can see Karina Kapoor Khan in the picture. Next, city signed MRPA with which international financial organization? so it is your asian development bank asian development bank and city group that is an american multi national investment bank and they have partnered for this mrpa what is this mrpa mrpa this is a legal pact between a tender and a participant here the lender will be giving a portion of the loan that will be bared by the participant and here the participant will be gaining from those interest this will allow a shift risk while retaining the ties with the commercial entities that are involved and also help to reduce the risk as the loans can carry heavy risk and they can work as a non performing asset so here it is asian development bank and city group they have signed this mrpa to support the smes and boost trade through the supply chain financing If we talk about Asian Development Bank, who is the president? Matsusugu Asakawa. Where is the headquarter? It is in Philippines, in Manila, Philippines. When was this established? Nineteen sixty-six, and there are a total of sixty-eight member nations here. Now let's discuss the options. If we talk about European Investment Bank, Nadia Calvino. she took or we can say she became the first ever women president of european investment bank she will succeed whom she will be succeeding werner hoyer of germany if we talk about new development bank on 23rd of jan shanghai's new development bank they have signed a loan agreement with government of gujarat and this was for 500 million dollar and it was for pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana for the construction of 1200 kilometers of road if we talk about asian infrastructure investment bank that is aiib they have invested 486 crore rupees that is approximately 58.4 million dollar in seit that is your sustainable energy infrastructure trust and this is for the project meridian it is for the project meridian next next is isro successfully conducted the first ignition test on the semi cryogenic pre burner ignition test article at which city so isro conducted this test at mahindragiri in tamil nadu here remember isro they are developing a 2 kilo newton of kerosene liquid oxygen propellant that will enhance the payload capacity of 
एल वी एम थ्री दैट इज लॉन्च व्हीकल मार्क थ्री रॉकेट राइट सो बेसिकली टू एनेंस द पेलोड कैपेसिटी दिस टेस्ट इज बिंग कंडक्टेड दिस एल वी एम थ्री दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज जियो सिंक्रोनस सेटेलाइट लॉन्च व्हीकल मार्क थ्री and it is a three stage launch vehicle developed by isro and it is a capacity to lift off a payload of almost 640 tons now if we talk about the options shri hari kota andhra pradesh here remember PSLV integration facility at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in shri hari kota andhra pradesh it is the state of the art facility that will launch the or that will facilitate the launch of small satellite launch vehicle small satellite launch vehicle if we talk about vikram sarabhai space center here remember the first of its kind large trisonic wind tunnel trisonic wind tunnel has been set up and it will be way for conducting various test where is it it is at vikram sarabhai space center that is in kerala and this will be used to test the aerodynamic design of the rockets If we talk about Chitra Durga in Karnataka, ISRO has successfully conducted pushpak. ISRO successfully conducted pushpak that is a reusable launch vehicle and it was tested at aeronautical test range that is in Chitra Durga, Karnataka. Next, Tata Steel Special Economic Zone Limited and HHP Five Private Limited signed a memorandum of understanding to establish which project in Odisha's Ganjam district. so it will be used to set up green hydrogen and green ammonia project right where it will be in odisha's ganjam district this location is important so take a note under this mou remember hygenco it will acquire land in the ganjam district to establish its green hydrogen green ammonia plant here right take a note of it genco is your hhp 5 private limited the initial aim here is to produce 1 million tons of green hydrogen in different phases by 2026 then tata electronics private limited they will be setting up a semiconductor fabrication facility that will be in dholera and this will be the first ai enabled commercial semiconductor facility in india If we talk about automobile in plant PM Narendra Modi inaugurated India's first automobile in plant railway siding project of Maruti Suzuki in Gujarat and this project has been developed under Pradhan Mantri Gati Shakti Mission in partnership with G Ride that is your Gujarat Rail Infrastructure Development Corporation and with Maruti Suzuki India Limited if we talk about a carbon fiber plant remember this carbon fiber it is considered to be one of the hardest material it is very strong right so recently jindal advanced materials private limited they have collaborated with m a e s dot p dot a and this is an italian based chemical manufacturer and this is to set up a carbon fiber plant in india next lando norris of united kingdom has won the Miami Grand Prix 2024 he drives for which company So right option here is McLaren and Lando Norris he won the first ever first position that means he came for the first time first ever right apart from it he was sharing the podium with various wins for second and third position but never he secured the top position and here he defeated World champion Max Verstappen in the Miami Grand Prix 2024 and it was held on 5th May. Then Red Bull's driver Max Verstappen he secured second position here and here he is having a total driver standing point of 136 points in their race. Then if we talk about Ferrari here Charles Lesler he secured third position. What is the location where this Miami Grand Prix was held? It was held at International Autodrome in Miami, Florida. And this remember this was the 6th round of the 2024 Formula 1 World Championship. Next. Here you can see Lando Norris in the picture. Next, Nepal government is set to introduce 
द न्यू विच करेंसी नोट फीचरिंग अ मैप विच इंक्लूड्स द कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल बॉर्डर टेरिटरीज ऑफ लिपुलेक लिम्पियाधुरा एंड कालापानी इन स्ट्रेटेजिक नॉर्थ वेस्ट ट्राई जंक्शन बिटवीन इंडिया नेपाल एंड चाइना सो नेपाल गवर्नमेंट दे आर प्लानिंग टू लॉन्च हंड्रेड रुपीज नोट राइट एंड दिस मैप दिस करेंसी हंड्रेड रुपीज करेंसी नोट विल फीचर अ मैप दैट विल इंक्लूड द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशियल बाउंड्रीज ऑफ लिपुलेक लिम्पियाधुरा एंड कालापानी रिमेंबर नेपाल दे शेयर border with how many indian states so with a total of 5 states then pm narendra modi launched the 20 rupees commemorative coin to honor the first vibrant gujarat summit held in 2024 that is the summit of amritkal then for 75 rupees remember in order to mark the 75th republic day celebration rajnath singh our defense minister has launched this 75 rupees commemorative silver coin this is a silver coin and minted by indian government mint that is in mumbai maharashtra then if we talk about 90 rupees coin let's make this 90 here prime minister narendra modi addressed the opening ceremony of rbi at the rate of 90 and it is basically to commemorate or to celebrate the 90 years of rbi in 2024 on 1st of april right so a special 90 rupee was coin or uh, was unveiled by prime minister narendra modi to celebrate 90 years of rbi and here you can see the image of the note and also the controversial that is the disputed territories in the map shown and this is 100 rupees note next is which small finance bank partnered with infibeen cci avenue to empower merchants by granting them access to its extensive customer base it is shivalik small finance bank right and it is to basically empower the merchants by granting them access to shivalik small finance bank's extensive customers base such a large customer base and here remember cc avenue it was the first payment gateway player to process cbdc or digital rupee transactions for online retail merchant shivalik small finance bank it was founded in 1998 and remember also this was the first uh, or we can say it was the first small finance bank that have transitioned from an urban cooperative bank then remember rbi they have sanctioned 530 crore uh, 530 million all stock scheme of amalgamation of bangalore bangalore karnataka base fincare small finance bank and basically it is in exercise of the powers contained in the sub section 4 of section 44a of the banking regulations act of 1949 then if we talk about jana small finance bank they have partnered with kotak mahindra life insurance company limited to offer insurance products to the customers of the jana small finance bank then au small finance bank they have appointed former deputy governor of rbi and its non executive independent director h r khan that is harun rashid khan as their part time chairman with effect from 30th of january 2024 next frank anderson strong the chairman emeritus of which organization passed away at the age of 92 so frank a shorten he recently passed away and he was the chairman emeritus of which company of boeing company he passed away at the age of 92 and frank shonts he was or he has served as the chief executive officer of boeing company from 1986 to 1996 and he became the chairman of the board in january 1988 then if we talk about airbus remember mahindra aerostructures private limited they have signed a multi year deal worth 100 million dollar with an airbus atlantic group entity if we talk about lockheed martin nasa and lockheed martin a global aerospace and defense company they have unveiled a quite supersonic jet that is x59 and this is also known as son of concord important take a note of this then if we talk about embraer defense and security mahindra defense systems limited and brazil based Embraer Defence Security they have signed an MOU and it is for the medium transport aircraft procurement for the Indian Air Force in New Delhi 
नेक्स्ट वेन वॉज द वर्ल्ड पोर्चुगीज लैंग्वेज डे ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब सो वेन डू वी ऑब्जर्व दिस डे ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ मे वर्ल्ड पोर्चुगीज लैंग्वेज डे वॉज ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब एंड रिमेंबर पोर्चुगीज लैंग्वेज इट इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट वाइडली यूज लैंग्वेज इन द इंडो यूरोपियन फैमिली एंड इफ वी टॉक अबाउट ट्वेंटी वन फैम इट इज़ ऑब्जर्व एज यूनाइटेड नेशन इंटरनेशनल मदर लैंग्वेज डे इट इज़ ऑब्जर्व ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ फैब देन देर इज अ थीम फॉर दिस मल्टी लिंगुअल एजुकेशन इज अ पिलर ऑफ इंटर जनरेशनल लर्निंग ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ अप्रैल ऑब्जर्व एज यू एन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज डे ऑब्जर्व ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ अप्रैल एंड इट इज द बर्थ एंड डेथ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ विलियम शेक्सपियर ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ मार्च हेयर इट इज ऑब्जर्व एज यू एन फ्रेंच लैंग्वेज डे राइट एंड फ्रेंच इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द सिक्स ऑफिशियल लैंग्वेज ऑफ यू एन नेक्स्ट वेन वॉज द एफ्रीकन वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज डे ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब सो वर्ल्ड एफ्रीकन वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज डे इज ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब ऑन विच डे इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फिफ्थ मे करेक्ट वेन डू वी ऑब्जर्व इट इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फिफ्थ मे एंड इट इज टू सेलिब्रेट एफ्रीकन कल्चर एंड हेरिटेज बाय रेजिंग अवेयरनेस अबाउट द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द प्रमोशन एंड प्रिजर्वेशन फिफ्थ मे इट मार्क्स द नाइन्थ एडिशन of the african world heritage day or we can say the year 2024 it marks the ninth edition here then this observance of this day is led by unesco in co- in collaboration with african world heritage fund and their partners if we talk about 22 march world water day is annually observed across the globe on 22nd of march and theme being water for peace 18th of april it is observed as international day for monuments and sites international day for monuments and sites on 25th of feb it is observed as national tourism day national tourism day and the theme being sustainable journeys timeless memories that is your world african world heritage day and here is the theme safeguarding africa's heritage through education next when was the international no diet day observed across the globe so international no diet day is observed across the globe on 6th of may and this day is basically observed in order to promote body positivity right and all bodies and all shapes and sizes are accepted and everyone looks beautiful correct and also it raises awareness about the dangers of extreme dieting that nowadays people do in order to get a good body but remember all bodies are same and every shape and size are equally beautiful then if we talk about this remember for international no diet day there is a symbol that is light blue ribbon right take a note of this this is the symbol here then if we talk about 7 june it is observed as un world food safety day world food safety day if we talk about 29th of september it is observed as un international day of awareness of food loss and waste and 16th of october observed as world food day 16 october world food day and 7 june as world food safety day here you can see international no diet day on 6th of may and here is the theme embrace yourself reject diet culture love you next is when was the world cartoonist day observed across the globe so world cartoonist day is observed across the globe on 5th may if we talk about this day it is basically to promote the cartoonist and the art globally the day aims basically to acknowledge the culture humor and social commentary that brings through the cartoons then if we talk about 28th of october it is observed as international animation day and if we talk about 14th of october it is known as children's day or bal divas and it is the birth anniversary of jawaharlal nehru ji who was the first prime minister of india then on 24th of jan this day is observed as national girl child day right and it is basically to promote the importance of girls education health and nutrition next is the indian air force and the indian army plan to jointly deploy which predator drone at the air bases in gorakhpur and sarwasa up so it is mq9b this is the predator drone that is made by usa and this predator drone will be deployed along the line of actual control that is the boundary between china and india 
correct and it is basically to enhance the surveillance of indian army and indian air force along the line of actual control if we talk about xa drones xa drone remember in hyderabad telangana this xa based marut drone tech marut drone tech this is the name of the company that is based in hyderabad telangana they have recently delivered to octa quad coaxial xa drones that are the india's first mineral exploration drones so xa drones these are the first mineral exploration drones then if we talk about ig drones iim sambalpur and ig drones they have partnered to launch the first ever drone center of excellence or we can say a center of excellence for drone and that will be the first ever this center of excellence then these mq9b these predator drones these predator drones they are available in two variants that is sky guardian and your c guardian and they are manufactured by usa and usa based company that is general automatics aeronautical next these are the drones here you can see next is the india ratings and research private limited a wholly owned subsidiary of which group raised india's gdp growth forecast for fy25 to so it has been raised to 7.1 percent earlier it was projected to be 6.5 and it has been increased to 7.1 percent this new projection has slightly exceeded the rbi's forecast of 7 percent this increase in the GDP can be of various reasons such as your infrastructure development, service sector growing and your manufacturing that is being more focused or targeted upon by the government of India. Then remember in RA that is your India ratings they are expecting that the private final consumption expenditure to grow by 7% year on year till fiscal year 25 then if we talk about 8.5 percent here the capital expenditure continues to support the investment demand with the gross fixed capital formation forecast increased by 8.5 percent year on year in 2025 then indra expect the goods and service export to expand by 6.6 percent that is the services to expand by 6 and 6.6 percent year on year and the imports to grow by 8.88% by fiscal year 25. Next is which asset management company launched Nifty Mid Small Cap 400 Momentum 100 ETF exchange traded fund? It is Mirai Asset Mutual Fund. They have launched this Mirai Asset Nifty Mid Small Cap 400 Momentum Quality 100 ETF that is India's first mutual fund scheme with 50 mid cap and 50 small cap stocks the nfo that is new fund offer scheme will be available from subscription from 6th of may till 17th of may if we talk about grow mutual fund here this is an amc that has received the approval from sebi to launch india's first nifty non-cyclical consumer index fund it will be launched by grow next now friends let's move to some one liner revision of all the important current affairs nepal said to introduce new 100 rupees note featuring disputed territories asian development bank and city signed mrpa to support sme and boost trade through supply chain financing india and ghana they have agreed to operationalize upi on ghi pss in six months mirai asset mutual fund they have launched nifty mid small cap 400 momentum quality 100 etf infibeam CC Avenue, they have partnered with Shivalik Small Finance Bank to boost merchant access. Indra raises India's GDP growth forecast for FY25 to 7.1% from 6.5%. Then TSS, EZL and Hygenco, they signed MOU to set up Green Ammonia and Green Hydrogen Project in Odisha. UNICEF India appointed Karina Kapoor Khan as its national ambassador and appointed its first four youth advocates. This is basically to working towards the youth rights, new generation of technology, right, their employment and so on. Then ISRO, they successfully conducted the first ignition test on semi-cryogenic PITA at Mahindragiri. Then Indian Army and Indian Air Force, they will jointly develop MQ-98 Predator drone at Gorakhpur and Sarvasa Air Base in UP. 
लैंडो नॉरिस दे हैव मार्क द फर्स्ट विक्ट्री इन एफ वन करियर आफ्टर विनिंग मियामी ग्रैंड पिक्स एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट हैज सी एस सिक्योर द फर्स्ट पोजिशन करेक्ट एंड फ्रेंक ए श्रॉन्ट्स द चेयरमैन एमरेटस एंड फॉर्मर सी ई ओ ऑफ बोइंग कॉरपोरेशन पास अवे दैन वर्ल्ड पॉर्चुगीज लैंग्वेज डे ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ मे अफ्रीकन वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज डे ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ मे इंटरनेशनल नो डाइट डे ऑन सिक्स ऑफ मे वर्ल्ड कार्टूनिस्ट डे ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ मे सो दीज वर योर इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स फॉर द डे फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द होमवर्क क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो फ्रेंड्स लेट मी टेल यू अगेन दिस होमवर्क सेक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड एन इनिशिएटिव वेयर वी विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग विद वन स्टूडेंट डेली अ फ्री सब्सक्रिप्शन फॉर आर अफेयर्स क्राउड and this will be on the basis of the comment that is the most important comment of this answer of this homework question right and based on that our team will be selecting a winner and then on daily basis we will be selecting one winner here the homework question here is give three important current affairs of the last four months on these topics that is isro upi and green hydrogen three important for each and for the past four months you have to give us three most three three each most important current affairs and let's see who grabs the subscription this time hello students mera naam vikas rana hai to aaj ki video mein hum 8 may ke important current affairs discuss karenge aaj ki video mein 16 इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स पे हम बात करेंगे जिसमें से कुछ हैं जैसे नेपाल ने अभी इंट्रोड्यूस किया एक सौ रुपए का नोट फीचरिंग द डिस्प्यूटेड टेरिटरीज बिटवीन इंडिया चाइना एंड नेपाल देन यहीं पे एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक एंड सिटी ग्रुप ने एक एमआरपी एग्रीमेंट साइन किया ताकि जो एम हैं राइट right, उनको चेन फाइनेंसिंग के थ्रू यहाँ पे काफी बेनिफिट मिल सके इंडिया एंड घाना की बात करें तो इन्होंने यूपीआई लॉन्च किया इन देयर कंट्री एंड सिमिलर स्ट्रक्चर आपके यू सिंगापुर फ्रांस यहाँ पे ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल है और यहाँ पर इंडिया रेटिंग्स ने इंडिया की जो जीडीपी ग्रोथ फॉरकास्ट है फॉर फिजिकल ईयर 25 वो 7.1 तक कर दी जो पहले उनके द्वारा 6.5 प्रोजेक्ट की जा रही थी तो ऐसे कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस आज की वीडियो में हम डिस्कस करेंगे